Man, I really did not think I was going to have to make this video. How's it going? My name is Garrett aka Slimefest and welcome back to the House of Ashes. Uh, well last time I actually beat the game. And well, if you saw that marathon of an episode, uh, I didn't exactly get the perfect run that I had initially hoped. But, let me just talk about everything that's happened in that ending. In like, under a minute. So we started off by just Jason Salim doing stuff. You know, they bonded. Then, the other three guys, Balathu ran at them full speed. Eric tackled him down a hole. That was hilarious looking, by the way. Uh, then Jason and Salim went down an elevator, found a fucking spaceship of all things, and started walking around. Then we found a mother load of cocoons. We got saved by everyone else. And then we went to the star room. Rachel kind of got infected. She was getting really bad. I completely overthought a decision. That got Rachel shot in the face. So now that we lost Rachel, the four of us were going. We were saving the world. Uh, Nick almost died trying to plant bombs, but he made it out anyways. Jason went back for Salim because they are fucking homies. Then we got out onto the surface, but then the clips came. Uh, I went through QTE hell, and then Salim walked off into the sunset while everyone else flew off in a helicopter. And that was the finale to House of Ashes. Uh... <laughs> I'm, I'm just trying to make it super quick so then it's not that much of a hassle later when I have to like edit everything So I think basically the whole intention for today is That I'm just gonna go through the I'm gonna go through the ending and I'm gonna go back to where I first initially fucked up as in I'm gonna go back to the star room. I'm gonna try and figure out how to purge Rachel of her infection Wow, that's mean. Of course you showed me the glimpse of the one future that I literally could not have out of everything that I got from that ending. Literally the one thing that could not have happened. Uh, okay. So I think from here, I go to scene selection, I go to strange eons, and then I'm gonna make a new slot just because I really don't want to overwrite my old one. Welcome to the Star Chamber! This place is pretty. Great Empire collapsed. Their music oh. fell silent. Oh, Rachel's not doing hot. What happened? A sickness? A madness? Maybe something. What turned them from architects into killers? Rachel is not having a good time. <laughs> Now they're creatures of hate, animals, dead things. She just grabs fucking white phosphorus and she just gets ready to dome herself with white phosphorus. And the thing is, you can actually kill yourself like that. They waited for us. Shit. Rachel. He has a parasite inside me right now. I could be doing better. <laughs> Rachel. 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 She literally gets ready to dome herself with white phosphorus. That's Rachel. fucking nuts. Rachel. Rachel, look at me. Dude, Rachel goes yeah. through some shit in this game. Okay, now there has to be a way to purge her of the infection. Oh yeah, right. I forgot, you just have this weird otherworldly vision? What the fuck is happening? Like, sir, this is definitely the part where the game goes from being like a horror movie into just complete sci-fi. Like, what the hell? I'm sorry. Is 
She's getting ready. She, she's getting ready to dome herself with uh, white phosphorus. And I mean, I kind of want to see what that looks like, but not right now. That is a death scene for another time. Ow. They came from the stars. This isn't their home. It's an ark. Honestly, that piece of information went absolutely nothing. I'm sorry. Fuck. Ow, 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 ow. Please, Rachel, you have to hold on. It's killing me. I'll put her out of her misery. Pull her the fuck down. We're not gonna let that happen this time. There's gotta be a way we can't lose her. There's no other way. Hold her down. Are you gonna kill her like you killed Clarice? Okay, okay, okay. Don't do it, please. Jason. Don't do it. I have to put you down. Okay, now look, now look. Here's where I messed up last time. And what I did was I read too much into this decision. As in, I thought that if I didn't act fearful, the creature was gonna like reject me or something like that. In the meantime, I didn't actually read the dialogue option. And I literally just said, what are you waiting for? As in, shoot me in the fucking face. I literally told him, just shoot me already. And he shot me. And then I, I put on the surprised Pikachu face at the result of my actions. Now oh, fuck that. Don't shoot me. It's me, Jason. Please, put down the gun. Don't shoot me, please. Fuck. Come on, come on, come on. Thank you. Well, how do we get it out of me? Because we gotta have hope. Yeah. Wait, you're just... Yeah, what? Look, man, just say it. There may be another way. The fluid in the cocoons. What? Oh, shit, I think I know where you're going with this. What's she talking about? The fluid, it keeps the flesh alive, but it stops the aging. How could you possibly know that? I saw it. A man covered in this fluid, he should have been dead, but he was alive. It kept him alive. If we can get Rachel in there, we could stop this. What? Are you for real? That's crazy. We don't know anything about it. It could stop her from transforming. The cocoon will keep her safe until we return with help. It's our only hope. Are you kidding me? I could just get cocooned? I don't want to get cocooned, but not going to lie, that might be a valid option. You know, honestly, I, I don't know what it feels like. Uh, you know what? Let me, let me not... Let me not get cocooned this time. I am not being fucking cocooned! Either that or a bullet. Nick, help me with her. <sighs> okay, never mind. Oh, shit! You know what? Never mind, never mind, never mind. This is a bad option. This is a bad option. I have to get cocooned. Throw me in there, Jason! Get me in there. Yeah, toss me in. Oh, I acted fearful, didn't I? Maybe we can burn the infection out of her. I'll do it, she's dying. Sure. Burn the infection out of me. You put it in me. What? Oh! I 
I'm with you, Rachel. Kill that fucker. Go kill that fucking thing. Where is it? That thing tried to fucking impregnate me. Is there going to be a death scene where it just leaps back into my mouth? It probably is, honestly. Ah, uh, okay. I don't know where it could be. There's just a bunch of these things around here. Do I have to kill this thing? Why don't I just leave? Or, well, actually, I guess I have to. Hello, Mr. Mr. Throat Slug. Are you in here? No? Okay. Ah! Fuck! Shut your mouth, Rachel! Nice! Oh my god, ew! Ew. Dude, what the fuck? Secret found alien parasite. That's disgusting. That was actually disgusting. Oh yeah, right here, alien parasite. An alien parasite that grew inside Rachel after being implanted by one of the creatures. Its existence proves that the creature are undead beings controlled by parasitic life forms. Seems that exposure to the creatures can cause severe sickness. Parasitic organism grew inside her skin. Yeah. They're parasites. That was... That was... Utterly nasty. Okay. Hooray! We have five of us now! Everything's all going okay! Now let's see if anything changes with Rachel here. You seeing what I'm seeing? Those mounds are made of cocoons. Thousands of them. Well, at least now we know that we can burn the infection out of somebody if it gets bad. I wonder if Rachel's gonna go in there. Also, I'm surprised Rachel is still in, like, tip-top shape after vomiting a slug. Shit, hatchet. We gotta move. Quick. Who's going? Okay, listen up. We've been hit hard tonight. We lost brothers. But now, it's time to get some payback. Oh, charges on as many of Jason's more hopeful this time. Detonate them remotely. Second those charges go off, we haul ass to the exit. Luck is on our side. We'll do more than fry a few vampires. We'll create a diversion. If we die here, at least we'll take some of those bastards down with us. Yo, Rachel, I like it. Who's going to place the dynamite? Is it gonna be Nick again? Who's gonna do it? Fuck it. I'll do it. Yeah, okay, so it defaults to Nick. We'll do it together. The more of us down there, the more chances we'll get seen. It takes a detonator. If I don't make it, Nick, hear me out. If I don't make it, I want you to blow those charges. Okay, well. Getting trigger happy on me. Well, I know what can happen. You, away. you keep in radio contact. And if there's no radio signal, then I'll pop a flare. You see it go up. You hit that detonator. Well, I know exactly how to save Nick. You hear me, buddy? I know how to save Nick in this situation. Which is that I have to advance and then complete the QTE. Although I might try doing something a little different this time. Just just out of curiosity. You know? Hello? I can't make it out. Uh, I think if I look up here, these things are gonna hatch. Nick, there's one ahead of him. His left. Nick, the cocoons are hatching ahead of you. You gotta move fast. Okay. Nick. 
First dynamite is down. Over. I'm guessing Nick can die at an earlier point in the story and then somebody else will go place the charges. But I'm guessing the default option is Nick, seeing as how I have all five people here and Nick is the one that's going for it. Which way? Left or right? Right. Nice. Oh, hi, Blathu! <laughs> Right, that drips some blood. Here comes a creature. Oh! <laughs> That's bad. All righty, I do a little tap a tap. I'm trying to decide if I should advance or retreat because I know exactly what happens when I advance. But like maybe I should like I I'm kind of tempted to go like and retreat just so I can like just so I can like do something different because I don't want this to just be me replaying the entire ending but with minor deviations courtesy of Rachel. Okay, bye. Yeah, you know what? Hashtag fuck it. I'm gonna try retreating this time and seeing what happens. Or wait, actually, no. I think uh, Balathu is behind me. I'll try retreating in, uh, when I do the death stream of this. You know what? I'll just go all the way through. Or, yeah, yeah, you know what? Fuck it. Fine. I'll try retreating. Just to see what happens. Or, wait, what? Yeah, that's a lot of them. It's getting kind of hairy down there, brother. Why don't you ditch the rest of those charges and head back? Look at that, man. It's the mud road. It's too far. Well, I know I got fucked. I know I can, like, survive. You know what? I'm going to try surviving when I retreat. I'm going to see what happens. All right. I'm heading back. I'm going to see what happens. I'll have a lot to... Blothu followed the survivors after Nick retreated early from the cocoon vault. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Push the button. Kaboom! Am I gonna have a different Blothu showdown now? Well, it's definitely gonna create a diversion. Oh, huh. good job, guys. Balathu's just here. Oh, oh shit! Oh, he's coming! We gotta go! Yeah, I wanna do an alternate escape scene. Everyone run! Oh, crap. Nice! Oh, right. UV light stops working now. Cool. And Celine gets ran off. All right, Jason, unknown structures, 0522 hours, step 3,444 feet. Where the fuck is Celine? He's just out there. Salim! He's still alive. Look out! Salim. Come in, man. Are you there? I am surrounded. I'm in the real trouble here. Vampires. So many vampires. What's there to think about? We go back down there. We die with him. No, we don't. He's a dead man. We need to go. Nah, we gotta go. We gotta go help him. Ship or fire, brother. <laughs> Eric tries to pull that fucking card, man. That man is not one of us. Bro, that's a human life. Don't leave their own behind. You hear him, Miss Celine? If I don't make that, tell my son I did everything I could. Tell him yourself. I'm coming to get you. I'm coming to get you, man. Let's go. Let's go. 
I love it. You can actually just say, see you on the other side and just fucking ditch Salim in the city. That's so messed up. We're probably gonna run to Balathu, actually. I just realized. Yeah! Nice! Let's go! Stabby! Nice! Salim is so badass! I'm so happy I kept him alive! This man deserves his freedom! He deserves a happy life with his son! While everyone was fighting with guns and shit, Salim was running around with a fucking iron pipe! And just impaling everything! Like, that's awesome! Nice reload. Man, you do a lot of switcherooing. Like, you do so many switches in the, uh, in the single player mode. Especially in this last bit. Seriously, just throw that thing. Like, I can tell that, um, in the curator's cut, you do, like, you play as, like, different characters and stuff. Oh shit! Oh shit, it's Palathu! Oh, is Balathu gonna kill somebody? Oh! Wow, that could have gone a lot worse! But Balathu's still coming after me. Yo, we gotta go! We gotta fucking go! Oh, we're still fighting because we didn't take out all of them. Well, yeah, I guess it really could have gone better. But you know what? Screw it. We're, we're going. Bye, Balathu. We're going up. <laughs> Hooray! We have everybody! Let's go. Oh man, that was unfucking believable. And now we got Salim Rachel. Me and Celine busted through them like it was the last down of the goddamn Super Bowl. <laughs> we got Rachel with us now. Listen up. I'm not out of the woods yet. What I see in front of me, you're the best. Fuck that. Best of the best. We will get home. Nice. Oorah! <laughs> God, I love, I love all the characters in this game. I also really like Salim. I think Salim's, I think Salim and Jason are honestly my favorites out of the entire group. Jason is just really funny because of his accent. And uh, Salim is really cool. I love his development. Oh, I'm playing as Rachel now. That's different. This way, hurry. Let's go. Everyone up. Yeah. Now there's five of us getting up the ropes. Oh yeah, Eric, what are you seeing? Yo, what up? Come on, we go together. Yeah, Rachel, come on. There's <laughs> no need to worry about, like, anything, really. Yeah. There's <laughs> nothing there. Ooh! This is literally the same exact ending. Statue. There's a way out. But just with Rachel now. <laughs> that's <laughs> That's the one thing that's changed from my ending. Oh now Rachel's tossing it. Let's go to the surface!
Target LZ. Depth, zero feet. There's Rachel. Man, that's what we needed to see last time. There we go. All five of us have made it. Well, I mean, not really, but for the most part, all five of us are on the surface now. Woohoo! We made it. <laughs> Rachel's it's covered okay, in guys. blood. <laughs> Soak it all up. <laughs> She's covered in blood, bro. <laughs> Oh my god. You still with me, buddy? <laughs> we got two alive. Very fucking ready to go home, Marines here. Drop kick to Coyote 2. So no air support. LMAO. And I can't believe I really just told Salim to shoot me in the face. And I could have just said no. Again. Repeat the enemy. I could have just said no. I forgot how bright it is out here. <gasps> you think those shepherds are still around here? I could use a cold one. Nah, I, th <laughs> I think all the shepherds just dipped. He must be worried about me. It's not over yet. Dude, this eclipse is the most evil thing I've seen in these games so far. No. Not again. <laughs> this is so evil. <laughs> now the monsters can come and all of your characters can die in the last five minutes. Let's go! Everyone run! Okay, cool. So now we got all five of us in here. Shore up the defenses. Lock this place down tight. Everyone buckle the fuck up. <laughs> I love that line. Okay, yo, QTE time. If you mess up any one of these, somebody dies. Oh shit! Oh, they got Nick! I just pressed triangle. <laughs> I'm so happy that didn't fail it. Let's go! I wonder, if you have one person in this situation, are they just guaranteed to die? Anyone got any more bright ideas? Uh, we have flares. I would've just started ripping these things and tossing them everywhere. Do you see how many flares there are? Them. We can hold them off. Yeah, dude, just I would have started ripping these things everywhere. <laughs> they just walk in through the door. Oh shit, it's blood through! Oh god! Oh fuck! Dude, everyone's getting fucking manhandled by Palathu! Oh shit! <laughs> Is Palathu clutching the 5v1? Oh, never mind. Oh no, no, oh, we're just fighting Palathu right now. Kill him! Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> Oh shit! Yo! 
Yo, that was gnarly! Now we still got the monsters to worry about. Holy shit, yo, look at this. We got the fucking Avengers circle shot. This is awesome. It's been interesting knowing it. Alrighty. Oh, Rachel. All right. Gotta focus. No more commentary. Woo! Did you, did you just throw that? Damn! She just did the Jesus toss. Oh my god, she's just she's fucking wrestling with it. Damn, girl! Eric. If you mess up any one of these, does your character die? That's dumb as fuck, but like this is this whole scene's awesome. Alright now, Nick. Woo! To think that literally your entire playthrough rests on pressing ten buttons. Salim. Let's go, Salim. Ow, fuck. Salim's a badass. He can't go out that quickly. Woo! Woo! Now, Jason. Dude, Jason's going off. Ooh. Oh shit, I missed. Fuck, 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 fuck. Oh, I saved it, I saved it, I saved it. Okay, good. Oh, so they give you a second chance. Okay, that's more forgiving. That's a lot more forgiving. Oh, back to Rachel. Woo! <laughs> Damn, girl! <laughs> oh, this is what Eric did. There we go, sunlight, the golden path. We did it. We're all good. Man, that was actually kind of cool to see Balathu fighting everybody. And there we go. Five survivors. As it should have happened, honestly. That's a nice sun. Very nice sun. I need to see my boy. I need to see my boy. Let's go, Salim. Dude, Salim has, is such a badass. He went from being like this dude that was just kind of here to honestly being my favorite character in the game. He's so cool. Bro, whoever your kid is, they are lucky as shit to have you as a dad, wait, that's for sure. Wait. Good luck, brother. You wish Shane a happy birthday from me. Thank you, Jason. Bye, my friend. Good mama, brother. Right, Salim lives like a few miles from here, honestly. He just has to walk back to his house. That's <laughs> it. There he goes. It's the journey home. He only has to walk like a few miles, but 
He's making it back. After a long day of work, he's probably gonna eat a pie or something. Go have some birthday cake. Say hi to your son. And then go frame that pie, uh, go frame that, uh, the spear that you made out of that pipe. And hopefully no governments come barging in your door and asking for it as forensic evidence. Yep, there he goes. Now what I'm really curious about is that it says, for air support, Selim was able to return home safely to his son. Does me calling for air support somehow prevent him from doing that? Like, does air support arrive when we emerge on the surface? And they're just like, Yo, shit! Uh, you got an Iraqi with you, and it just a sniper just takes his head clean off as soon as we come out? That'd be nuts. Oh, Eric used the UV wand to remove the parasite from Rachel's body. Oh. So that was meant to happen. Yeah, Jason went back into the city. The Ancient One, Balathu, emerged from the underworld to attack the survivors during the eclipse. That was a cool-ass scene, honestly. Oh, and then Blood. Balathu followed the survivors after Nick retreated early from the cocoon vaults. Or wait, no, that's not Blood. Uh, the blood from Nick's injury woke a creature. Yeah. Infected. Um, Eric used the UV one to remove the parasite. After the infection took hold, Rachel had a vision of the creature's past. That scene was honestly really wacky. Like, let's be real here. That that one scene felt like super out of place. One four. Do you have eyes on the friendlies? I think we do. We're getting a Resident Evil style helicopter evac. There, it's the assault team. It's the entire assault team. Oh now let's go get remarried, Eric, after it was made blatantly clear that I was having an affair with you. <laughs> there we go. We're all safe. <laughs> I mean, we kind of lost a few people along the way, but as the curator puts it, Sometimes the price for our survival has to be paid by others. I mean, there was a fifth one, but like, he's just not here. This is the best ending for everybody, really. Selene got to go home. I mean, Rachel got to rekindle her marriage. Everyone's alive. Oh, uh... And then poor Nick just sitting off to the side. <laughs> it's quite the militaristic ending, honestly. I mean, what better than everybody just, like, being sore and tired as fuck while flying off into the sunset on a helicopter. Let's see what the curator says about this. There we go, five candles for five charges that we successfully guided back into the lights. The mind is its own place and in itself can make a heaven of hell a hell of heaven. What does that mean? Bravo. It appears your charges have emerged from their hell in one piece, although this ordeal will continue to haunt them for the rest of their lives. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> I look forward to our next encounter. Perhaps I'll choose... It's definitely some PTSD. More homely next time. Somewhere you'll be guaranteed of a decent night's sleep. I'm pretty sure this is about a haunted hotel. Wherever it is, you'll find it extremely hard to leave. A haunted hotel is definitely an interesting setting for this kind of story. Know the way out. I love how the curator just like he's just like you know how to leave. Also, is that the Washington Monument in the back? Yay! Let's see the credits this time. Honestly, I kind of left it off halfway through because I just felt that episode was going on for way too long. <laughs> Covered in uh, hazmat suits. Grab me in the back. 
<laughs> Brooks and Miller. Got fucking muffins. <laughs> How's it going with the analysis team? Four of the ISG units arrived. They're being debriefed through here. Shall we? After you. And the entities? Like nothing we've seen before. Oh, they're studying them. Oh, God. Oh! Cold check, Jason. First Lieutenant, Marine Force Recon. The best of the best, huh? More so they advertise. Cold check, Jason. Fuck! Now, how many times do I have to keep telling you the same damn story? Oh, it's the interviews! I understand. However, SETCOM needs to iron out any irregularities. Such as? The whole fucking thing was irregular! Such as why you allied with an enemy combatant? You weren't fucking there! Those things were ripping us to shreds! I don't give a damn who it was! We needed all the help we could get! I stepped back into that hell to save Selene. And that man was worth five of you people! Semper fucking five! I dig it, Jason. Anyways, operated with an Iraqi soldier down there. Republican guard, if you can believe it. Must have made a hell of an impression for Goldjack to go back for him. I'm dying to meet this guy. Now, let's see. Show. He walked. What the hell's that mean? By the time the extraction team got here, he was gone. Could be across the border by now. Sneaky son of a bitch. Oh, so that's where Salim would have been. I why Goldjack enlisted his help. The analysis team are still pulling specimens from the site. It's carnage down there. Yeah, it... <laughs> people got fucked up. We don't know how they got their hands on it. No, no, no. Oh, Nick. I told you already. It was a city. A goddamn city full of those things. There were cocoons down there. Fucking thousands of them. How many organisms were still alive down there? A lot. Too many. Oh, for all her sake. They all fucking burdened. Yeah, I didn't burn all of them, but honestly, I don't like care. All over again. Uh huh. Ah, and here we have Colonel Eric King, our in-house genius. Oh, Eric. He definitely got more than he bargained for. How's Eric doing? Everything you know about biology just went up in smoke. <laughs> These things, they're advanced. They're stronger than us, more intelligent than us. If you want to get ahead of this, you need to start taking me seriously. None of us doubt the severity of the situation, Colonel. A number of people have died. Nobody's taking them seriously. I'm going to make sure those things stay buried in that hellhole where they belong. Let's move on to Kalos. To Kalos? The fuck is that? Well, do you believe me now? This is Miller. He'll be fully debriefing you. Debriefing? You need to get your damn priorities straight. Those things are still down there. What are you doing about them? There will be plenty of time to talk things through. Right now, I suggest you count your blessings that you came through the other side. It's nothing short of a miracle that you survived down there. I learned not to rely on anyone but myself. I was stronger than them all. Wow. We'll be back shortly. Maybe if I burned all of them. Are still on for next Sunday? Janet's making hot pot. I would have, uh. Would have been a little different. I'll never get used to this job. Why would you want to? At least this one was localized. <laughs> so nobody's taking them seriously? What do you make of it all? Doesn't matter what I think. Only thing that matters is controlling the flow of information. Oh, no one's gonna know about this. Not a damn thing happened here. Oh, jeez. That's a per that's such a militaristic ending. Okay, what is this doom music? Huh. Okay, let me skip to the end. And I'm guessing now, yes, here's a trailer for the next part. You want to know what it means to be a killer? What? Think of the most profound Oh jeez. You've ever done. Most beautiful thing you've ever created. What the fuck? And I promise you, it's nothing compared to watching the life bleed out of someone. Oh, so we're against serial killers in the next game? In their eyes. Who is this? To feel them pawing at you for release. To hear them pleading, begging. That's true art. What the f is this like saw? Have you? The 
the dark pictures. The devil in me. Season one finale? What does that mean? Oh yeah, isn't there supposed to be like eight games in this? Okay, but the devil in me. That actually looks kind of fun. I saw that title, The Devil and Me, like a while ago, because it got leaked literally when House of Ashes came out. Or like when House of Ashes was like initially announced after Little Hope. But I thought it was going to be like about an exorcism. I'm like, how are they going to make a six hour game based off an exorcism? But no, it looks like it's actually going to be about like serial killer, like jigsaw-esque traps, which looks sick. But anyways, that's it. House of Ashes. Man, this game was actually, this game was actually pretty good. I enjoyed it thoroughly. <laughs> um, I will say, I, I definitely enjoyed this a lot more than Little Hope. Just because I thought that the, like, the plot twist, the game itself, the decisions, the environment, everything about it was just a lot more, like, in-depth. And honestly, like, it's probably just because of the ending of Little Hope with the fact that, like, the fact that, like, okay, because, like, in, in Man of Medan... You had all the characters tripping balls as they ran around a ghost ship with chemicals. And, like, so none of the monsters were real, but, like, there were certainly real consequences to your actions. And, like, you could actually kill somebody if you weren't paying attention. However, in Little Hope, like, it turns out that, like, nothing was actually real. And it just kind of, like, threw everything out of whack. However, this game was so good. Honestly, I think this is my favorite game so far. Because... I mean, Man of Medan was a really fun romp through a ghost ship to just, like, start off this franchise. Little Hope had a really cool premise with, like, how all these different demons are going on. There's, like, this mystery about, like, the witch trials and all that. And then House of Ashes was a lot better. I, I really liked how instead of just having, like, a bunch of oblivious college kids like stuck into this horror movie situation you had like you had like uh like a military squad going up against demons so you had people that were actually like combat efficient and all that stuff i thought that was sick and it made for a really cool premise where honestly the not like the only threat or well no there's we're like not the only threat is like the demons and more so the fact that there's like people from enemy sides down there with you and you have to like learn to like form loyalties and bond with them in order to like actually get everyone out safely and the, the, also the choices that this game had like the rope scene at the uh at the end of episode three like the scene where you can like choose to cut the rope like you can cut the rope immediately for your own safety however that's like really messed up and if you don't think that rachel will survive like if you have no prior knowledge of this game going into it you'll think that like you just killed rachel going into it um like i i also kind of found myself like not really interested in like i guess the lore too much i mean the lore about like the expedition and all that i guess the it kind of helped explain like the stuff about like how there's aliens and like what happened to the crew and all that but uh yeah i i thought this game was really fun i think there were some minor nitpicks that i have with it which is the fact that like there were just some parts of the game that i'm not gonna lie i just really wasn't that interested in like I, I think I think just like the the whole affair subplot, like the the whole like love triangle between like Rachel, Jason, and not Jason, <laughs> Rachel, uh, Nick, and Eric was just kind of like, it's kind of hilarious and like every time that came up, I was just laughing my ass off, <laughs> because it, it just it just wasn't like, just didn't warrant being taken as seriously. It's like everything else, if you get what I mean, like. I don't know, I, I just really didn't find myself, like, caring too much about, like, the love affair and, like, all that, all that, like, stuff. I feel like there was something else that I was, like, interested in. Um. Or something else that, like, I wasn't too interested in, I guess. Oh, yeah, I guess also, like, the lore. Because the thing is about the past two games that the lore was used to, like, mainly figure out, like, what was, like, happening with the, uh like the stuff and if you don't figure out everything you're going to have a really 
bad time because then something's gonna happen. You're gonna be like, what the fuck? Uh, however, in this game, the lore was kind of made to just like make the actual piece a lot more clear because it's kind of explained throughout everything that these are aliens. And I mean, the whole alien twist came in like not that far from, uh, it came in like not that far from the end. So honestly, like if you, if you didn't find anything and then you found like the aliens and stuff and you kept everyone alive and then Rachel had like that vision of like the spaceship crashing down, uh, that's when things would get like really weird. But yeah, also the alien twist was like, like, okay, I don't, like, I, I don't, I don't really mind it. I mean, compared to, like, hallucinations and schizophrenia, Aliens is definitely the most, like... It's, I think that's definitely, like, the, the best solution that we've had so far. Because, like, the whole hallucination thing was, like, an interesting twist. The schizophrenia thing was kind of frustrating, honestly. However, the fact that they were aliens is, like... I mean, to be honest, I don't know what I expected. I don't think it was aliens, though. Because, I mean, you see these bat creatures, and then they, like, have so much stuff related to them about, like, vampires, and you're like, oh, I think they're just vampires. And then you find a fucking spaceship at, like, 3,000 feet below the surface. Like, what? Also, I think this game was meant to, like, like, this game was meant to be, like, uh, kind of pull a fast one on you, because the right choice was actually to, like, kill Clarice and to like get Dar killed as well. Like the right choice was actually to leave these people behind. And I think if you try to keep them alive, then things don't go too well for your other characters because you're like fighting so hard to keep them alive. Especially Clarice. I don't know what would have happened with Clarice. I'm gonna figure that out though. I'm so fucking excited to do the death stream of this game. I'm probably gonna do that in like a week or so. But yeah, I'm so, so pumped to do the death stream, dude. It's gonna be so much fun. <laughs> Um, but I think for now, uh, for now, I mean, I got the best ending. I saved everybody. And honestly, this game was very fun. They definitely improved on the formula that they have so far. I don't know what the whole season one finale is. Like, I don't know what that means. But fuck it. I'm gonna figure that out later. <laughs> So I'm definitely going to do the death stream of this, which is where I play for like probably like four hours or something. And I just go through a ton of scenes and stuff. I try to see how bad things can get. I try to see how much differences I can get. I just try to see how fucked up things could have gone early on into the game. And I am, I, I'm so excited for that. So until then, that's going to be it for House of Ashes. Later. Later.